Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today was meant to be a vlog day, but sadly all the vlog footage I got didn't actually make up a vlog because I kept forgetting to like link it and keep up with the vlogging and then finish the vlog. So I thought I'd try something different and do a bit of like a story time, life update type kind of video where I insert all the clips from the vlog just to kind of mix it all up a little because I know that sometimes vlog after vlog after vlog can be really really boring so I thought that I would just kind of sit down and talk you guys through what the last couple of weeks have been like for me because they have been quite hectic. <laughs> also a quick side note if you're wondering why my makeup's a wee bit strange today it is because I just filmed a video that should be coming up on my channel soon so keep your eyes peeled. So first of all you've probably noticed if you are a returning subscriber that my background has changed once again that is because I'm no longer in university. I have finished my first year and I've moved home. Home being Darlington because in February we moved to England. It's a bit of a strange story. So yeah, I moved home on Monday. Today is Thursday, although I don't really know what day I'm going to be uploading this. So I haven't been home for very long, but I have been just kind of making my room more of a room instead of just kind of a storage place where all of my <laughs> all of my stuff is thrown. Um, it's coming along pretty well. I'm really really enjoying how I'm starting to look. Um, so if you would like a room tour whenever I finish, please feel free to let me know. So just before I kind of fell out of the whole YouTube thing, I started going through some exams and then just before my exams finished, two of my housemates actually moved out and I had to say goodbye to them for the summer, which was really, really sad because one is off, in De off to Devon for most of the summer and then the other one is going to try and get a job in Basingstoke. So I will be not really near them and probably won't see them until next year, which is kind of sad. I mean, I'll probably see them like once or twice over summer, but it was just, it was really, really sad. So I'll probably insert some clips of that, but that was like a really, really emotional day. <laughs> well, two days, they moved out on two separate days. So that was great. <laughs> Thanks guys. All packed up and ready to go. Yes. You don't look sad. I'm just better at hiding my emotions than you are. Every day is a sad day. How do you feel? Could be your last time at those bins. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in September. Yeah, I'll see you in September. I'm going to drive back in a good summer. I've got a bit of a road road. I'm going to miss you. Stay safe. Let me know when you're in Devon. Let me know when you're home. Let me know when you've got the horses, the semi photos. <laughs> Take your box, guys. <laughs> oh man, we can store ourselves in the car. <laughs> yes! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> you may try to leave us, but we will never leave you! <laughs> We're hiding in the... <laughs> I've cried all morning. It's really bad, you'd actually think she's like dying and not just leaving for the summer. <laughs> Don't shut <shock. laughs> <laughs> <Bye. laughs> First housemate to move out was Emily. You've seen her in a few of my vlogs, but not a lot of them. She's the one that always has the fancy camera with her, and she is off to Devon to do some horsey type shenanigans, and then the second housemate that you would have seen move out was Sam and you've seen her in plenty of my videos. She is in my English vs Irish slang video, a lot of my vlogs, she's just in like nearly all of my videos because her, me and Sophie spend all our time together. Well, spent. So yeah, it was really sad helping her move out as well because it was just kind of like an end to that chapter and it really kind of cemented that for me. And I know that Sophie felt the same way as well. Once they had moved out and everything, I managed to finish my exam. They went pretty well actually. They could have went a lot better, but they could have went a lot worse. And then the other elephant in the room is, yes, I got my hair dyed. I got it highlighted. I got half head of highlights, I think about a week or two ago and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Whenever I originally got it done, I wasn't too happy with it because it is a lot brighter than what it used to be and I'm just not used to it. I'm, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of like, I like my hair to look a little bit more natural. I tend to look a lot natural because I don't wear full face of makeup all the time. Um, I actually quite rarely wear makeup. I just put it on for fun. So that was 
quite a shock to the system was getting this done but, but I'm sort of really enjoying it I think it looks really cute whenever it's curled and stuff so yeah it's grown on me that's it there's nothing more to say I might dye it pink over summer I'm not too sure yet I am kind of loving having it blonde but I do want to use up my pink hair dye so I don't know um, another thing that is new is that I finally had my anaesthetic consultation for my operation which I have been waiting for for two years. Like if you know me you'll know I always have problems with my throat, always have problems with my tonsils. I used to be a singer and had to stop singing because of my tonsils. I've been waiting for two years to get my tonsils out and I finally got the phone call so I'm just waiting for that. So any day now I will be put through for an appointment any day for the next three months so that's really really exciting and I will have to fly home for that so I'm kind of, kind of excited for that but also kind of terrified because I was told it's going to be like really really painful for the first three weeks afterwards and it's more painful for adults than it is for children so yeah if I have like a bit of hiatus <laughs> on YouTube for a while that is probably why but I may vlog it because I've seen a few people okay first of all I've seen that there's not a lot of footage of, of adult tonsillectomies but I also have noticed that like some people have vlogged their experience which I find really really helpful looking at it and deciding whether or not I want to go through with the procedure so I may try and do like a little vlog of my procedure if that is of interest to anybody then please let me know because I am so down for doing that. So that was like one of the big things that happened to me most recently. Another thing is that Adam is going to be visiting so you may see him in like a vlog or a video or whatever at some point. He is visiting next week um, and I am actually going home this weekend so tomorrow actually I'm going home. By the time this is uploaded I'll probably already have been home. So I'm going to go home tomorrow to take my little stepsister to the Taylor Swift concert down in Dublin and I am so excited like I saw that Jess Pham had taken her daughter Lily to go and see Taylor Swift and just watching all of the footage and everything on her Instagram stories. I was like dying. I'm so excited for this gig. I'm going to see Katy Perry literally like a day after Taylor Swift. So I come home on the Sunday and then on the Wednesday I'm away to see Katy Perry in Liverpool. So it's a um, bit, bit crazy. Yes, I mean, so if you're going to go to that and I am super excited for that as well. It's kind of like, I feel kind of sneaky like going to Taylor Swift and then going to Katy Perry. But you know, a girl gotta do what a girl gotta do. So there's not an awful lot really going on in my life. It was literally just really busy because I was packing a lot for moving and everything and like now obviously unpacking a lot and, and trying to sort out a YouTube schedule and everything because I don't like how I hit or miss my channel is. I, I want it to be more consistent and I want to have an upload schedule so people can come home from school or work or wherever they're coming home from and know that like there will be a video waiting for them or when the video will go up. So I am thinking of doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. That is the way I have been trying to do it so far and just obviously with university it didn't get to that. So let me know if you think that's a good idea. If you have another type of schedule in mind, I can do Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday if that's better for you guys. Like I'm gonna work with what I've just said right now until like obviously I refine it and get it down but just so you guys know there is going to be a schedule at some point. It's not just going to be like when I feel like it I throw it up but if you do want to keep up to date with my videos you can always subscribe or hit the notification bell but if you've already done that and you still don't see much then on my Instagram I always post it on my Instagram stories and on my Facebook page. I have a Facebook like page for my YouTube stuff so if you just give that a like I always post a link to my newest video there and I would like to get more activity on there so as that grows a little bit I will start putting up like polls and everything. There's always polls in my Instagram stories so if you want more of a say in what I put up and everything then go over there. My Instagram will be linked down below and I'll probably put it up here or something. You'll see it everywhere. It's in all my videos. I'm always plugging my Instagram. I'm like obsessed with Instagram for some reason. Another thing is while Adam is here I'm going to try and start a Twitch on my phone. I really want to start streaming Animal Crossing. I know it's so bad. Like it's just so cliche that of course I'm going to do Animal Crossing but I am obsessed with Animal Crossing recently and I may as well just start streaming it so we're going to try and get that set up over the weekend so if you'd like to follow my Twitch it is literally the same as my Instagram samlore99 um, but he does stream as well so if you want to follow his stream his is iversai I'll like write that here as well if I can even figure out how to spell it but that's pretty much it um so I guess it was just a, a bit of a quick life update because I didn't want those clips to go to waste but I also wanted to like keep you guys in the loop of what has been going on and give a little bit of an explanation as to why I've not been so active on my YouTube and also to point out that there will be a lot of stuff coming up for me and also the channel so this summer watch out guys
keep an eye out, the channel is gonna go. I am also trying to change kind of like the aesthetic of my channel, so I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got like new cushions and stuff, and I'm going to try and change my banner and everything. I'm just super excited for how this summer is going to be and what it's going to mean for this channel so yeah if you haven't already subscribed then feel free to hit the subscribe button well yeah that is pretty much it for today's video and also just want to thank you guys all so much for your continuing support my channel has grown a little bit recently i mean not obviously a lot but a lot for me i didn't even think we we're going to get past like 60 subscribers let alone up into the 100 and like the comments and stuff i've been getting on my previous videos has just been so amazing and so heartfelt so thank you guys so much for all of the continuing support you really have like given me the motivation i needed to pull myself out of the little slump and throw myself at it so thank you guys but yeah hopefully i will see you guys all in the next video and until then goodbye